took a classroom, now let's begin. Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Bam, bam, bam! Aiden, looking good today, Danae. And my man, Omar, yes! Teachers, do you look good in that ball cap, man? Pulling it off! Okay! Get ready, man. We got a big one for you guys today at home. We have the students and we have our teachers from New Foundations Charter School in the Holmesburg section of Philadelphia. They just got into the classroom, the show where students go head to head with their all time favorite teachers. And Philly showed up to support them today. Looking good out there. Yes, you guys. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. We got a dog here. It's cool. Hey, it's winner take all today on the cash and bragging rights before we meet our contestants. Let's see who's studied, because it's time for a pop quiz. <laughs> pop quiz time here. Grab your buzzers, teams. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer, guys, is going to be worth 10 points for your team. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and steal those points. Pop quiz starts now. In basketball, how many points does a player receive for each made foul shot? Mr. Muma. One. One is right. Persian, Siamese, and Sphinx are breeds of what animal? Mr. Atkins. Cats. Cats is right. If you have one quarter and one nickel, how much money do you have? Mr. Simpson. 30 cents. 30 cents is right. Addison and Zed are, are excuse me, Addison and Zed are Seabrook High School students in what Disney Channel movie? Omar. Zombies. Zombies is right. What U.S. president sent Lewis and Clark on their mission to explore the Louisiana Purchase? Mr. Mumaw. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson's right. In the NFL, what city of New Orleans is represented by what team? Mr. Atkins. Saints. Saints is right. What is the Spanish word for the color blue? Mr. Simpson. Blau. <laughs> Students for the steal. Omar. Azul. Azul is better than blau. I'm going to take that one. Which of the sensory organs allows you to hear? Mr. Mumal. Ears. Ears is right. Twilight Sparkle, Pinkie Pie, and Rainbow Dash are characters in what franchise? Aiden. My Little Pony. Nice. What is the capital of Delaware? Mr. Mumaw. Dover. Dover's right. Moving on. What kind of front develops when a cold and warm air mass meet, but neither has enough strength to move the other? Mm. Mr. Atkins? Cold front. Students for the steal. <laughs> Danae? A warm front. We're looking for stationary front. And that is it for Pop Quiz. Man, what a start. Let's take a look at our score. 70 points for the teachers that came out gunning there. Students with 30. We have a big game on our hands today. We have the students and teachers from New Foundations Charter School in Philadelphia, home of the Bulldogs. Omar, you're one of those Bulldogs, man. And today, you're on the classroom. Welcome in. Thank you. $500 on the line for the team today. If you guys win, where's that going? Uh, it's going to go to our spirit day, maroon and gold day. So you're a ninth grader. This guy has the coolest, coolest idea of what he likes to do in his spare time. Tell everybody what you do. Uh, I like to bake. Dude, that's awesome, man. You're a big time baker. What are you baking? Cakes, like a lot. <laughs> a lot of cakes. What's the best part about baking? You know this answer. Eating it. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares about doing it? You get to eat it at the end, right? Danae, eighth grader, you're a big time violinist? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to play? How'd you get into something like that? Well, I mean, it started when I was uh, 10, and, you know, I just thought it was a, a cool instrument to play. I just wanted to try it, and my favorite song is, uh, is Pachelbel Cannon. Ooh, any place we can hear you coming up? Um, at our school, uh, our concert, we have, like, a, a holiday concert. Aiden, My Little Pony is apparently your favorite show, because you say you're like, My Little Pony! I watch it every day. That's dude. That, you know what? So do I. So we have something in common. Awesome, dude. You're an eighth grader, man. You play an instrument as well. And I hear you're pretty good at it. Some people were talking about it. I mean, pretty good would be an understatement. I, I think I'm the best. Yeah. I just, <laughs> we it's all just do, man. That's awesome. Down, definitely the best. Yeah. So what do you play? I play trumpet, and mostly rolling in the deep by Adele. Probably gets annoying for all the people in the band with me, but I don't care. It's fun to play. And you have, you kind of have like everyone's got a catchphrase. You have a hand phrase. Just what is it? You were showing me, you were just hitting me with this. Oh, I, oh yeah, I always got to hit him with that. Yeah, like, that's he, it. Just, he was talking to me, and all he kept doing was, Hey, Richard, how are you? And I'm down for it. Hey, guys, you're facing your teachers today. $500 on the line. You guys do it. All right? Let's do it, guys. 
You got three great kids over there, yep. man. Your school seems to be on fire. I love you guys. Mr. Simpson, $500 for the teachers. You guys had a great start. It seemed like you really sp spread out the answers there. Uh, if, you, if you win today, where's that going? Uh, it's going to go to a charity called Fox Chase Champions. It helps uh, physically challenged kids uh, go out and do activities. That's awesome. What a great place to put it towards. Uh, I don't want to brag or anything because it's a big get for us, but this guy was the lead singer of Linkin Park, the band. <laughs> Tell these guys what's going on with that. I, uh, I got pulled up on stage. They let me sing for about a minute and a half, a half a song. So for about a minute and a half, I was the lead singer of Lincoln Park. That's awesome. What a claim to fame for this guy. All right, Mr. Atkins, yes. eighth grade, your social studies teacher. Uh, tell me about what it's like to, to be a teacher at your school. You said it's, it's got some pretty awesome things going on. Yeah, uh, I have uh, I have a really really great class. The the students are just uh, they're outstanding. They, and you uh, keep them entertained because you're a big time superhero fan. Yes. W who's your all time favorite? Batman. All right. So I like, am. do you have a favorite all time Batman? This is a huge debate, right? I have. Uh, uh, there's a debate, yes, but oddly enough, my favorite at this point in time is, is Ben Affleck. I know a lot of people don't wow. agree with it. Wow. Wow. I think he he personifies Batman as far as. The uh, the bulky and then the way yeah. he fights and, and uh, do you do a Batman impression? I I don't. Yeah, actually. you do because you're on the show today. Uh, so let's give it to him. Look right in that camera. Uh, Here we go. Uh, I am Batman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Muma, my man, down at the end. You're triple certed. That's a big deal. You got you could teach anything, yeah. and it, you you showed it in pop quiz. You know a little bit of everything. Science, English, math. Yep. It's a lot of different classes. What's your favorite? Um, it's history. History is my main thing. But back in the day, when you're trying to find a job, you do as many things as you That's can, it. and Protect then yourself, you do man. all three, and you switch it around whenever they need you to. All right. Well, you're not getting kicked off today, but you might <laughs> do it right now because we're sending somebody to detention. Let's go. Here we go. Teams, you're going to put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category, so students will start with you. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds aside if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play, you answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you, so be very careful if you pass. The other team must answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody to detention. They're going to win 40 points, so students, you can get right back into this thing, and we're starting with you the category is US states I think we should play I mean I could play it here we go what is the only US state that begins with the letter L Louisiana Louisiana boom on the board that's right Nicely done, Omar, Janae, Aiden. You have three teachers over here who are dying to go to detention. <laughs> Who's it going to pick? Is it the triple certified teacher? Is it the one that's been there the longest? Who are you guys going there? Okay, Mr. Mumaw. Mr. Mumaw out of the game. Strong decision there. Guy knows a little bit about everything. It's time to go. Teachers, going back to you here as we get into books turned movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll take it. In the novel, The Jungle Book, what kind of animal is the character Bagheera? Is it the panther? They fire back. That's exactly right. Panther is right. Bagheera, there's a scary character. You got three intelligent students over here. Mr. Mumaw is dying for some company, so who's attending detention with him? See you, Omar. Bye, Omar, our ninth grader. <laughs> Our team captain, sorry man, you're in detention. You guys can chill as the rest of this category unfolds. Students, how do you guys feel about fairy tales? I know nothing about these. Pass. Teachers, with the fairy tales. In the Brothers Grimm fairy tale, what are the names of the two siblings who get lost in the woods and stumble upon a witch's house? Hansel and Gretel. And it just came back to bite you on the pass. Did you guys know that one? Yeah. You did know it, so that's a tough pass for you guys because someone else is going to detention. Who is it? Aiden. Aiden out of the game. Danae, you're holding it down for your team. Those passes can hurt you. Those passes can hurt you, as we just see. And teachers, the category is on to you guys here. Uh, how do you feel about math? <laughs> We're passing that one. <laughs> Emphatic pass. Here you go. Your back's up against the wall. You got to get this one right. How many faces are there on a cube? Eight. 
Incorrect. We were looking for six was the answer, which brings our teacher score up to 110. And Danette, you got to go to detention. You're out of this one. Mr. Moomaw, you're free to go. Hey, big game on our hands. Teachers 110, students 30. But we're going to be right back to see how well these guys can spell. Don't go anywhere. the notebook, grab the pen, and welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from New Foundations Charter School in the Holmesburg section of Philadelphia battling it out. The score, teachers in the lead, 110 to our students, 30, but there's still plenty of time left in the game for anyone to win this thing. We're getting right back into it with some spell check. Come on, guys. Okay, here's how this game will work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm going to give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it right, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're going to bank 30 points this round. If you make it through the entire two minutes, everyone left standing is going to get 10 points for their team. Spell check starts now. Mr. Simpson, sharp. S H A R P. Omar. Baker. B A K E R. You, uh, you didn't want to spell again, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dizzy. D I Z Z Y. Jumbo. J U M B O. Good. Smudge. S M U D G E. Habitat. H A B I T. Habitat. What? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I, did, I tried. I tried. Various. V A R I O U S. Impolite. I M P O L I T E. Good job. Elevator. E L E V A T O R. Assembly. A S S E M B L E. Sorry, it was assemble. Criticize. C R I T I C I Z E. Replying. R E P L Y I N G. Good job. Ourselves. O U R S E L V E S. Resources. R E S O U R C E S. Omar, way to go. Specialist. S P E C I A L I S T. Misbehaved. M I S B E H A V E D. Earthquake. E A R T H Q U A K E. Inspiration. I N S P I R A T I O N. Technology. T E C H N O L O G Y. Correct. Wow, that's going to be it. Omar, back against the wall, says, I don't think so, teachers. You just held it down. Was that seven in a row for you? And it brings our score 140 for the teachers, 40 for the students, but we're not done yet. Picture day is coming up. So put your smile on and get back to the classroom. Teachers from New Foundations Charter School in the Holmesburg section of Philadelphia. These guys have been pumping it up all show, so I had to see what's going on. What's up, everybody? Good to see you guys. Yeah. All right. They taught me something. So, Danny, hit it, girl. Strike your stuff. Ready? Break. Bulldogs. Are you ready? Are you ready? Bulldogs. Are you ready? Bulldogs. Are you ready? Are you ready? You shut your stuff. Hey! <laughs> In the squad, Michaela. Am I on the team? All right, I made it. I made it. All right, the score you saw 140 for our teachers, 40 for the students are down 100 points. Can they come back and win this thing today? I feel like they can. Well, with the energy you guys are giving out in the front row, I know they can. Look at this smile right here. I'm hitting it too. It's picture day. Let's go. <laughs> Bulldogs, are you ready? Are you ready? 
I'm part of the squad. I made it. All right, teams, grab your buzzers. We're all going to show you a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you three clues, one at a time with each clue. We're going to remove three of those boxes. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify that picture is going to worth 10 points for their team. If you buzz in, you get it wrong. A member of the other team can buzz in and steal those points. Picture day is always a blast. We have three pictures today. Here is your first. This athlete is an Olympic gold medalist. That's a tough picture right there. Here we go. Clue number two. She has her own Barbie doll. Mr. Simpson. Is it Simone Biles? Is that Simone Biles? <laughs> Students, you want to buzz in and steal? Here we go. Clue number three. This Team USA gymnast appeared in an episode of Nicky, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. Mr. Moomaw. Is it Gabby Douglas? Is it Gabby Douglas? That's who we were looking for. I have no idea what show that is, but she appeared in it. She apparently did a great job. Let's see our second picture. This character is pretty hairy. Omar? I was going to guess Harry Styles. <laughs> is it Harry Styles? Ah, that's a tough one, Omar. I guess we didn't get that one right. That was close, though. All right, teachers, do you want to steal that? I'm not right okay. now. Okay. Wait. Harry Styles is taken, by the way, so don't re-guess that. <laughs> Clue number two, he is a trusted co-pilot. Aiden. Sh shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> is it Shaggy? <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Teachers for the steal? Yes. Mr. Moomaw. It's Chewbacca. Is that Chewbacca? <laughs> that is exactly who it is. Nice. Aiden, you cover in your face. Did you know who it was? As soon as I buzzed in, I completely blacked out and just forgot. <laughs> Welcome to live television. That's what happens. All right, teams, it's 160 for the teachers, 40 for the students. Let's get right into that third picture. Here we go. Clue number one, this funny star is from Canada. Clue number two, he has played two different superheroes. Mr. Atkins. Ryan Reynolds. Is that Ryan Reynolds? Yes. That's exactly what it is. Mr. Hanson himself. <laughs> Teachers take commanding 170 point lead to the 40 on the students. Both teams still have a chance to win because we have 300 points up for grabs and it's the final exam time. Let's go. <laughs> The topic of today's final exam is found in the ocean. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about found in the ocean. Each correct answer is worth 100 points, 300 on the board. Teams will work together and write down your answers during the commercial break. No writing quite yet. First, let's see what questions are on the final exam. The first question. Humpback, blue, and beluga are three types of what ocean creature? Question number two, Magikarp is a fictional type of fish in what popular franchise? Question number three, what ocean man animal that is cousin to the sea urchin is known for its five arms and the ability to regrow an arm if it's cut off? Okay, we know the question. Students have to get these right to crawl back into this game. We have 60 seconds to confer. Come up with their answers in just a couple of minutes. Can they do it? Tune in. Let's find out if these students have it in them. They can come out first, ranking here on the classroom. But hey, if your students want to come on the show, if your teachers want to come on, here's a look at how you can be a part of it. Does your school want to be part of the game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. everybody today we have students and teachers from new foundations charter school i love this place we're going head to head teachers versus students the scores teachers slightly in the lead right now 170 to our students 40 but coming up we have the final exam and 300 points still to be had so the topic of today's final exam is found in the ocean how well do we know all about it don't forget guys 100 points for each correct answer let's get right into it students aiden we're going to start with you humpback blue and beluga are three types of what ocean creatures you said? We said whale. 
Whale is right. There's 100 points for you guys. And we're going right down the line here. Magikarp is a fictional type of fish in what popular game franchise? You have to get this to stay in it. Danae, you said? I said Pokemon. Pokemon's absolutely right. Takes the lead. Let's see if you can do it here with this third one. What ocean animal that is cousin to the sea urchin is known for its five arms and the ability to regrow an arm if it's cut off? Omar, you got to pad the lead. You got three high flyers over here on the teacher side. What did you guys say? I said starfish. And Omar is nailing it. 340 on the board. Teachers, you got some work to do here. Humpback, blue, and beluga. What did you say? We also said whales. Bringing your score up to 270 students. One more right, and you guys are out of this thing, and teachers are going to win. Magikarp is an fictional type of fish in what popular game franchise? We said Pokemon. Ladies and gentlemen, there's your $500 winners. Let's give it up for our winning team here today. Guys, come on out here and get your money. Students, get out here as well. You guys played an awesome game. $500 going back with these guys today. Teacher, team, we want to thank you guys for being here. We're going to see you next time. We have new mascots, a bunch of new people, and another $500 on the line. We'll see you next time. My God.